Hello, this screencast is going to walk you through some of what we covered in class during the first week. Uh, some of it may seem like review if you've been through Moodle before, but um, this will walk you through all of the assignments that we had for class that are coming up this week and a few of the technical details to get oriented with our hybrid class. So you'll see first, I'm logged into our Writing 95 class on Moodle. Um, if you have no experience with Moodle, it's pretty simple for most of what we'll be doing and you're also going to complete an exercise this week that will take you through a lot of the different technical things we'll be using here. But if you ever have questions about Moodle, you can always email me or you can find me under participants or through messages. Send me a message and tell me what's happening on Moodle and I'm usually able to help you out pretty quickly. So at the very top of Moodle, you'll see a few things that will always be here. The news form, which is where I send out announcements to the entire class. Attendance, so you can check to make sure I've counted you present for a day in class. The syllabus, which you should take a look at, gives all of the class policies and expectations and grade percentages. Student forum is a place that you can use to talk with your classmates if you have a question or just generally want to discuss something with other students instead of directly with me. That's the place. And then create a blog is just the first assignment that's actually a separate video that will tell you how to create the WordPress blog we'll be using to do some of our informal writing assignments this term. Then here you'll see some resources, and right now there's just four, but there will be more as the term goes on, about how to use Moodle and some of the other technological parts of the class we'll be using for the online component. And then the week that we're in for class will always be highlighted in sort of a yellow or orange color so you can keep track of exactly where we are with our assignments. Up at the top of each week there will be either a weekly schedule or some type of assignment overview that you can look at. And then we'll always have in-class assignments and online assignments. Sometimes these will be broken up into assignments and readings um, or assignments and forums but usually there's going to be a clear divide like this. Over to the right you'll notice there's places you can put check marks when you complete an activity. So say I finished that, just click on it. Some of the assignments will automatically check themselves off when you finish them. This is just for you. You can check things off if you'd like to keep track of your progress, but you don't have to. Um, I don't grade based on those check marks. And you know, if you complete something but forget to check it off, that's not a problem. It's just to help you keep track of what's being done during the week. Other parts of Moodle that it's good to know about over here, you can always find all of the assignments that are listed, forums, any of the resources you want to read. Uh, your grades will always be available by clicking on the grades part under settings. And you can find everyone in your class under participants and you can send messages using the messages box. Those should usually be on the left side unless you've made changes to your Moodle setup. Over on the right side, upcoming events will tell you what the next deadlines are in the class. And if you click on any of these, it will take you to the assignment itself so you can see more information about what's required of you for each of those assignments. And then right below that, this is the list of everyone in our class and clicking on any name will take you to their blog in the class. So if you ever forget where your own blog is or if you just quickly want to check in with another classmate's blog, you can find their name here, click on it, and that will take you right there, including my blog where I will put up example pieces for the class and other you know, pieces of information that I want to communicate to everybody. So that's the Moodle overview right now. Let me tell you what we did in class on Monday. So I'm scrolling down, I'm on week one, and we did two assignments in class um, off of Moodle. The first is this Moodle questionnaire, and I do need you to complete that as soon as possible. When you click on it, it's going to give you um, a couple of questions that it wants you to answer, and some of them are going to require you to do certain actions in Moodle and then report back on your answer. So you can have this open in one window and our class 
page in another window. That works pretty well for a lot of people. So you just hit the plus sign and go back to Moodle, find our class. And then, so it, it asks you at one point to post to the forum. You could do that here and then go back and type in the information it's asking for. Or some people find it easier to print out the questionnaire fill it out while they're doing the activities on Moodle and then submit it online. Either way is fine as long as you submit it as soon as you can. Um, the second assignment we completed in class was the online student profile. When you click on this, it's going to take you, there's a, a little link to what's called the OSP and your login here is the same as you log in with Moodle, your L number and your password. And once you're in the OSP, um, you'll see a screen that looks somewhat like this. Yours will look slightly different than mine, unfortunately. And up at the top, there are a couple of bars. One will say surveys, one will say assessments. And what I need you to do is, under the assessments tab, take both the personality and the learning style assessments. They're just going to ask you about 20-25 questions on each assessment. They're mostly yes or no questions. Um, there's no right answers. This is just to help me assess our class's overall learning styles. So do we have a lot of visual learners or audio learners? And also our class's personality styles. Do we have a lot of introverted learners, extroverted people? So that I know the best methods to use in class. Um, there's also a survey that just asks you about some study habits and other information about going to school. Um, all the information you fill out here is confidential between you and I, though if you enroll in any other classes with the Academic Learning Skills Department, your teachers there are able to see that, though most teachers, well, I'll say some teachers probably aren't using it yet. Um, once you've completed that, We'll work with the results a little bit more next week, but you can just come right back to Moodle. And that's it for that. The only other thing we did in class this week was to create a blog. And I'm going to do a separate video walking you through the steps of that because it's a little bit more involved. Um, we also discussed the assignments coming up for this week. And I'll walk you through these. They're all right here in week one. So you basically have two reading or lecture type assignments other than this video that you're watching right now, two blog posts, and a pre-writing and writing assignment to complete before next Tuesday's class. So the first thing that you want to read is this term topic assignment information, which is going to give you an idea of what we're writing for the whole term, and will help you come up with an idea of where to start on your first piece. After you've done that, the only other reading type assignment is that I want you to view this library tour video before next Tuesday because we will be in the library for part of our day next week, so that will be helpful to view. Um, then your two blog writing pieces, first blog post right here, My Career and or Major Goal. When you click on the name of the assignment, it always brings up more information, tells you what I'm looking for in the post when it's due, and down here you can find out the due date as well. This one is two parts, so it's going to ask you to write a short post about your major or career goal before noon on Thursday, and if you're just watching this video on Thursday, then just do it as soon as you possibly can. And then by Saturday at the end of the day, so 11.55 before midnight, to find several of your classmates' blogs and leave a comment or question for them. Okay. Once you've read the assignment information, you just go back to our main Moodle page. The other blog assignment for this week is a read and respond piece. So again, I click on the title, it gives me the information. And this one is asking you to go to another website, it's actually NPR. And they had a story called, the, If the Employment Game Has Changed, Who's Teaching the Rules? Uh, you can either listen to the story, it was a radio piece, so you can listen to what was broadcast, or you can read the story. And after you've done that, I'm just asking you to write a response 
to that story on your blog uh, before, again, Saturday at midnight. And then the other writing assignment for this week is that we're going to start with a narrative paragraph. If you've been through writing 90, this is going to feel a little bit like review. If you're coming right into 95, then it should be maybe familiar information, but it might be a while since you've seen it. Uh, so right down here, first you want to look at the assignment information, which is going to tell you the outline of exactly what is due and when and what question you're trying to answer. And then after you've looked at the assignment information, look at this overview of narrative presentation, which is going to take you through the different steps to pre-writing and then drafting your narrative paragraph. So to do this, you just hit start on the presentation. And of course it takes it a minute. And once it starts, you can get it to show on your whole screen by clicking this little square down at the bottom and say allow. And then you work through the presentation by clicking these arrows. All right. So that's the assignments for this week. Um, that last, the narrative paragraph is the final draft of it is due before class on Tuesday. Uh, but you're asked to turn in your pre-writing when you finish writing that presentation or reading that presentation. So that could be over the weekend or as soon as you get around to it. As you're going through the assignments, if you have any questions, again, please email me. My email address is kepkaj at lanecc.edu. Or you can always reach me, again, through the Moodle messages or through the participants list. I should show up alphabetically right in the middle. There's me. Click on my name and my full profile, and then you should be able to send me a message right over here. I look forward to seeing you in class next week, and please, again, let me know if anything comes up in the meantime.